Hi YouTube. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Um, I know you're used to seeing my craft videos or my Scentsy videos, but um, last month I decided to take the Ancestry DNA and my results came in today. So first I'm just going to share what I thought my results were going to be and then um, what they actually are. Um, Growing up, I really didn't know much about my mother's side um, because it's just something that wasn't talked about. But on my father's side, I was always told that we were, of course, African, um, Native American, and then Italian. That's what I've always heard. Um, and so, and well, and white, I guess you could say. But... Um, but like I said, I didn't know anything about my mother's side. So going into this, I uh, I um, thought that my results, I wasn't really positive on what my results were going to be because, like I said, I don't know nothing about my mother's side. Um, but as far as the history and where we're from. But um, so what I was expecting to see was um, between... 50 and 65% African American, of course. Um, about 25% um, Native American, and then everything, then and everything else, and then um, whatever else. That's kind of what I thought, just based on things that people have said. So I have my results. Uh, I'm not too shocked, but I'm shocked. Um, so from here, I am. 75% African, um, which that makes up of 33% Benin-Togo region, which is in West Africa, 25% um, Cam Cameroon, Congo, and Southern Bantu people. I am also 7% Mali, 6% um, Ivory Coast, Ghana. Um, two percent. Our oh, sorry, that's not that sad. Sorry, do, 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 do. Africa's got one percent. Nigeria. Okay, and then one percent. Africa South Central Hunter Gatherers. Okay, so the next one is I am twenty three percent white. I guess you can say, um, or European, I should, European. So that makes up of 19% um, England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. I kind of guess this explains my fascination with, um, with Europe and, and stuff, because I, I just had this fascination with it. Um, my, I always felt like I had a connection there, and I guess that kind of explains it. Um, I am also 2% um, Irish and Scottish, 2% Swedish, and 2% Norwegian. The Swedish and Norwegian, those, those were the two shockers for me. And for it to be 2%, really a shocker. I'm not that surprised by Ireland and Scotland just because of the slave trade and stuff, so. But, um... I'm also 1% Native American, Central, North, Central, and um, South American. Um, they said primarily located in Canada, United States, Mexico, Caribbean countries, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, uh, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, there's another one I don't know how to pronounce it. Suriname, Suriname. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. So all of that is one percent. Um, uh, how do I go back? Okay. And then the big shocker was I am one percent Filipino. I'm actually shocked about that. I can't wait to go to work and tell my um, tell my friend who is from the Philippines. I'm like, girl, we're cousins. No wonder why we get along so well. But yeah, so that's my pretty much my genetic makeup. 
it was very exciting to learn. Um, and so it, it has me digging and digging and digging. And also, if you go through Ancestry.com, um, they will... Let me see if I can pull it up here. Oh, gosh darn it. How do I... Just trying to figure out how do I go. Okay, I went back too far. Um, they will give you, when you do this, your DNA matches. So your DNA matches are people who are... Ooh, they added more people. Did they add more people since this morning? Um, these are people who you are, you are related to. They can give you perfect matches on your fourth line, your fourth line cousins on up. Um, anything like your fifth and eighth generation cousins, um, those are the ones that they consider to be distant cousins, but you're, you're basically related, but it's just so far. And, um, and I have to say that some of these people, I have, most of these people, I have no idea who they are. I have, of my fourth, for, okay, they found my second third and fourth generation cousins. So none of my first generation cousins, which are, I know all of them, they haven't done the ancestry test. Once they do one, and I do recommend that you do one, you will pop up on my thing. But I only recognize one name um, on here, and, and I know who she is. And But everybody else, I have no idea who they are. And it's funny because I have 500 and, 562 second, fourth, second, third, and fourth cousins. Pretty amazing. So my mind is spinning, so I know I'm going to be up trying to map this out. And I actually had to, you know, learn about what makes your second cousin. Because growing up, you always think your second cousin is your first cousin's child. And so it's actually not that way that it goes. All right. So I tried to explain it earlier today to one of my friends. So let's take your great grandparents. Your um, well, yeah, your great grandparents. So your great grandparents, if they had no, let's do. Let me make it simple. Grandparents. So you have your grandparents. Your grandparents have children. Okay, your parents, so your, your, your parents' siblings, those are your aunts and your uncles, okay, and then when they have kids, those are your first cousins. When those first cousins have kids, those are your first cousins once removed, twice removed, going further as long as they have kids. But those cousins who are my first cousins are my daughter's second cousins. And so, basically, like, my, my grandmother's siblings, who are my, um, my great aunts, her children, their children are my second cousins and my mother's first cousins. So, that's pretty much how it worked. Um... So it it takes a lot to kind of wrap your mind through all of this. So I'm really interested in doing more more research. I started putting certain things together. I have some of my family tree together. Um I have more on my dad's side than anything else. But um it is real interesting and it's really interesting the things you're finding out. Like I found out I had a um a aunt who was actually married before and I'm like, Ma, did you know that you know, so-and-so was married before. And she was like, no, she wasn't. And I was like, oh, according to his marriage certificate, yes, she was. Um, so it's, just, it's interesting um, to find that out. So I encourage you to do this because you never know who will show up on here um, as family. So, so yeah, it was really good. I'm going to actually do it on my daughter eventually. My mom said she was going to do it. Um, I may even go back and try 23andMe because I did Ancestry this time just to see if it comes out similar. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thank you for joining me today. Alrighty, bye-bye. And I'm going to leave a link to Ancestry 
in the description bar so you can check out the website for yourself um, if it's something that you're interested in. Alrighty, bye-bye.